Coming up in this video, the 10 health documentaries that you absolutely must watch. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimios here from thethoughtgym.com, here helping you become that superhuman leader that I know that you can be. And in this week's video, I wanna share with you 10 of the health documentaries that I believe that you should check out in order to help improve your health and get better awareness about what's going on around you. Why do we need to watch these health documentaries? Why can't we just trust what we see in the media? The fact is we need a wide source of information to get our, uh, our kind of own views. So whether that is reading something in the media, watching the news, subscribing to magazines, reading books, looking at health documentaries, we should get a wide range from all of those places and see what makes sense. And unfortunately, most of the, what I perceive anyway, public news outlets, media outlets that they give us are either incorrect or way, way behind the curve. And it's a great idea to get a little bit more personal responsibility, a bit of personal action to delve into this yourself. And if you are watching this channel, you're probably into all things feeling superhuman, all things feeling great, being a high performer, and health is a massive, massive part of that, obviously. So what are these top 10 documentaries? All right, number one, I would say watch Cowspiracy. Cowspiracy, it's been doing the rounds on Netflix. I watched it a number of years ago. I love that documentary because it does show uh, the environmental impact of some of our choices, especially when it comes to eating animal products. And I recommend watching that to open your awareness on that kind of uh, area of uh, what we do, what we consume. Number two is a documentary called Forks Over Knives, loosely based around the book The China Study. It also delves into what our food choices are doing for our health and in terms of what, um, what really we should be looking at when it comes to uh, preventing certain diseases. Uh, I also recommend reading the book. Again, there's going to be different views online about this, but take all the information in and make your own mind up is my advice on this. Number three is a documentary that I think came out uh, last year or earlier this year called What the Health. Um, I found that really interesting. Again, I found that some of the claims in there were a little bit hard for me even um, kind of in that way of thinking to kind of uh, believe. However, I do think that it will open your awareness, open your expansion into exactly the food items we're putting into our body and the effect it has on our health. The fourth one I would say would be Food Matters. Food Matters is a documentary that was done a number of years ago by a couple in Australia. I had the pleasure of meeting one of the film producers uh, about three years ago. And um, it's a really fascinating, fascinating documentary. It was one of their first documentaries, I believe, Food Matters. And it just showed the difference that changing your diet can have on your health and well-being. And it interviews all these amazing experts highly credentialed people and again it doesn't necessarily preach a particular diet style or anything like that except for ultimately I guess whole real foods um, as your basis for your diet and I suggest that you watch that because it's a real motivating feel-good movie as well. Number five is a movie or a documentary called Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. Uh, many of you uh, may have already watched this because it was actually Joe Cross who had uh, being overweight, he turned 40, he realised that he just didn't want to feel like crap anymore, he was on all these medications, he had this uh, so-called incurable uh, condition and he decided, a bit kind of maverick-like in a way, to go on a 60-day juice fast and it's a fascinating tale of not only his journey but something unexpected happens midway through that whole journey which then became quite nice and motivating as well. So I do recommend watching Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. I've shown it to a number of my coaching clients, a number of my retreat clients, and they absolutely love it. They feel motivated, especially if you are undertaking some kind of juice fast. Um, it's worth watching because it will help really show the power of, of juicing to, um, to kind of healing certain things and feeling so much better. So Fat Sick and Nearly Dead was my fifth recommendation. Number six is a documentary called Simply Raw. Simply Raw was really taking uh, six people on a journey through a raw food diet for 30 days to see if it could reverse their diabetes. 
there was four people, I believe, who had type 2 diabetes and one who had uh, two had, who had type 1. Although going into it, I think it was five and one, but one was later recovered, uh, understood to be type one. Um, and it's a fascinating journey of you know, their struggles with the diet, their, their successes, their failures, and the results were really amazing in, in all cases of the people that stuck it out. And if you've got diabetes, especially type one or type, well, type two, uh, especially, but type one would be really interesting as well. Um, I think you'd find this really fascinating as a documentary. Number seven is Hungry for Change. And again, that is made by the same people that made Food Matters. And it, it follows on the same suit, but it's a really fascinating dive into, um, into the food industry and seeing just what goes on behind it and, and the impact that it's having on our health. And really, ultimately, we need to change. We can't rely on the information that's coming out to us from the media. We can't rely on the information coming out to us from the food companies. Uh, we need to be taking charge for things for ourselves. We need to be looking at things uh, from uh, all angles, but especially from a personal perspective, we need to be responsible for our own health and well-being, and we need to actually act out and take change and make change happen uh, by speaking with our wallets ultimately and not buying the products that are really going to make us sick and ill. Number eight is a documentary called Fed Up. Uh, that was came out a couple of years ago. Again, it was one that I think mother's kind of quest because she was like effectively fed up with what's been going on in the food industry. The food industry is literally, it's killing us. It's the, the food industry, the drug industry, they kind of, they're basically one is making us sicker, the other one is keeping us sick. And because ultimately, you know, there's no real money in healthy people. There's no real money in dead people. Um, you need, people who are just in between. And uh, I don't say I'm a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but it's just reality, okay? It, uh, you just gotta delve a little bit deeper and it will blow your mind the kind of the different, I guess the different uh, influences that certain industries have on other industries that you don't believe they should have. Uh, watching these documentaries is gonna show you just how tied up everything is in the money, uh, the big food industries, uh, you've just got crazy things happening, like from fast food companies sponsoring education programs in schools about nutrition. I mean, it's not the right thing to do. Um, so check out Fed Up. It's a really fascinating documentary. Number nine is a documentary called That Sugar Film. That Sugar Film took a, a relatively healthy, I think he was Australian guy, and he then changed his diet to eat more or what was in line with some other recommendations, if I remember correctly, and was having more sugar than he should have done, and it was just the devastating effects of sugar. And sugar is, unfortunately, it's everywhere. We think, oh, well, we don't put sugar in our tea, we're doing okay, we're not having any added sugar. Fact of the matter is there's sugar everywhere. You know, there's sugar in sliced bread, you have two slices of wholemeal bread, you're raising your blood sugar levels more so than a Snickers bar. So there is sugar everywhere, we need to be mindful of that. The World Health Organization suggests having 28 grams or less per day. That's if you're an adult. If you're a child, it's even less. And you look at the food items that children are having now, and they are having way too much sugar. Most kids under five shouldn't be having any sugar. And you're, you're, you're giving them these perceivably healthy foods. Please do read the labels. Sugar is sugar. It's gonna have damage and effects to the cells in your body. It's gonna have damage and effects to all manner of things in your body. We need to eliminate as much of it as possible and have just the, the kind of the smallest amounts uh, where necessary. That sugar film, worth watching. Number 10 is a documentary which is voiced over by Morgan Freeman and we all love listening to Morgan Freeman's voice. Uh, it's called The C Word and that is all around cancers and uh, I found it a really fascinating documentary to understand really some of the things that you're not going to hear about in the mainstream about cancers, causes, cures, all sorts of things. Um, so I recommend watching The C Word to explore that a little bit more detail yourself. And actually, let me give you a bonus one. Number 11, I haven't got 11 fingers all there, um, but one that I think that would be useful as well, and it's hugely controversial as a topic, and it's called Vaxxed, and it's about vaccinations, and specifically it was about the MMR vaccin uh, vaccination, and regardless of your position on vaccines, and I'm not saying whether I'm pro or against, because I think it's just 
it's wrong to say a blanket statement like that because there are different vaccines out there and they are going to have um, some are better research, some are, uh, are safer um, and so you can't just kind of say or at least I can't say I'm for vaccines or against vaccines because there are there are differences around them but I would definitely recommend watching the, the movie or the documentary Vaxxed. It will give you um, a different story, I guess, from what you might have been seeing in the news media. And the people in there are highly credible as well. And, uh, and you'll find out that actually a lot of what you think you know about, specifically the argument around MMR and what uh, the doctor, Andrew Wakefield, was talking about, um, may actually be um, slightly incomplete. So I definitely recommend uh, checking out Vaxxed, especially, um, especially if it concerns you, if you've got children, if you're thinking about having children, um, I would check out that, that documentary. At least get the big picture, you know, make informed decisions rather than um, just taking one or two different opinions. Let's look at a few more. So they are my 10 plus one documentaries around health that I recommend watch. Please do comment and let me know of any other documentaries I may not have included in this list. I've watched tons and tons. Um, these were just 10 or 11 that I recommend as a starter, if you like. Um, what are your favorite health documentaries? Which ones opened your eyes a little bit more to the world around you? And which ones did you maybe act on and actually make a difference to your health? So please do let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, remember, stay strong, stay super, and I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.